Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> oh, who's going to donate $10 to Sarah Palin? It's aunt, me. Com- it's aunt, me. Cunt. 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 Dick. God damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dick. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think, I think we learned that Justin can have amazing self-control and brian i'm putting a little sign on your computer that says do not get the belt (laughs) (laughs) oh is this is this gonna sting a little bit as i uh, what was it sarah palin's super pack yeah let's just go ahead and see or in fact i really want you to waste this so sweet uh, freedom uh, a devotional sarah pack no i think i want you to give yeah here we go Building America's future. <laughs> no, no. Actually, here, Brian, I'm gonna put this one in. In the. In, in, I want you to donate to the Right to Rise Political Action Committee. The Right to Rise. Wait, we were talking about Weebos earlier. The, oh. the Right to Rise. Oh man, Jeb Bush? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, in fact, it's worse. It's Jeb Bush's super pact, which is certainly that that might go defunct within days. Jesus oh, Christ! Are you wasting your money? Okay, but but uh, I have to get my my fucking phone number and shit, and they're gonna hit me with all. Uh, oh man, I wonder if somebody uh, wouldn't have set the precedent of making us donate to political committees. Oh, oh. man! Wait, did Justin, who did Justin donate to, or did Paul he? Rand? Rand Paul. Yeah, Rand Paul. God. Same, same difference. Same That's so much more reasonable, though. No, nope, doesn't matter. We're <laughs> mm. mm. getting to the establishment. Finally, the, the Bushes can have some money. Thank God they, they had the grassroots support Jesus. of people like you. Boiled. All right. Sign up for the... Re- Wait, hold on. Uh, no, you need to click that big donate button. You that, just signed up I really don't, I, for I, free. I, I, I didn't mean to... Where's the... Oh, the donate button. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, I almost had to actually sign up. <laughs> Choose your donation amount. Luckily, there's a little button there that says $10. First name. Do I have to give my real name? No. Uh, you just have to give them real money. Briarly. Oh, whose oh. phone number are you going to give out? Give Bone. out your brother's phone number. <laughs> Bonertron. You do have to use your address, though. A real address? That says, next time, donate to Stormfront. I'm going I'm to oh, do God. one, two, three. <laughs> Bonetastic Ave. City, Austin. Yeah, no, there was never any agreement that we had to give our real address. 773-something. An email address? Loophole here. Uh, uh, do, I, do I have to give a real address? No, no, that's fine. Uh, squiggle at schwood.com. Oh, you're still going to give them a schwood.com address, though? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> what? Don't <laughs> do that. You're it, it'll it'll go in the trash. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Uh, so employer... You- uh, Patreon. Oh, God. <laughs> Occupation? Uh, guy. Uh, no, spell it G-Y. Uh, G-Y? <laughs> oh, I guess you're watching that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, a gambling card. man said, so just give Can me... Can I not do PayPal? Uh, God damn it. No, you gotta put that number in, boy. Yeah, give him the, e- the email address weed6969 at gmail.com. Uh, because weed 69 was taken. <laughs> you gotta remember your login so you can like unsubscribe later. No way. <laughs> and squiggle it. Oh, wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. All right, wait, wait, wait. Don't don't show none. Are you ready? All right. All right. Here we go. We'll see if it takes it. I made sure to, I put my name as a fake name, Briarly Bonner. No, uh, uh, P. Del Hendy says, if you use a credit card, you must use your real address or it will not pass. What you really need to do is use your real zip code. That's actually the only thing that they use to authenticate. I did that. Okay, so I have first name, last name, both start with the same letter as my name. Okay. And I did a zip code that it really is my zip code. It's hitting donate. I'm hitting donate. Would I really like to remember this login? Sure. No, that's your, <laughs> no. Really? Thank you. Close that so I don't uh, have to put your uh, credit right, card wait, number wait, on wait, screen, okay, please. Don't, don't, okay, thank you. Don't squiggle away if you want me to close it. <laughs> thank you for your generous <laughs> contribution. <laughs> Damn it. That's what you get for cursing. Yeah. It's got to be painful. <sighs> Fucking Jeb. Are you kidding me? 
The swear jar. Is I really know. Brutal. The swear jar is just Jeb Bush's mouth. <laughs> Is that where all the shit goes? Uh, what is the bell jar about? The bell jar? Yeah. Isn't what, that, by, like... by, uh, by uh, Sylvia Plath? Yeah. Uh, dude, it's about the futility of life, about sitting there uh, spoiled for choice, trying to decide which fig you want, watching them all die on the leaves. Yeah. That sounds like a really short story, We're all though. dying. Oh, oh God, man. Brian, Bill. Hey, was man, you funny. asked. Penny, <laughs> what show you guys? <sighs> Thank you for your generous contribution. I just donated it. You know what's great is I'm going to totally flip this. Next time I'm hanging out with my dad, he'll be like, oh, oh politics something or other. I'll be like, hey, man, I did my part. I gener- I, I, <clears throat> I donated to Jeb Bush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to get into this this, this uh, B.O.B. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson Oh, Jesus. Thing? Have, you, have you listened to, to the diss tracks, Bryce? Not at all, but okay. I've been watching the tweets, and I think it's amazing. All right, you got to start here's, with the first here's one. the thing. I, I am almost willing to make this. No, you want to know what I am? B.O.B. is the most relevantly to where pop music is right now talented musician to go this publicly crazy. Uh, well, and here's the funny part is I don't know that he's crazy. He's just woefully misinformed, right? Sure, yes. I mean, and, and by crazy, I, I don't necessarily mean like he's mentally unstable or anything. He's just a guy like many people who have beliefs in uh, conspiracies, right? He's, he is conspiratorially minded. Sure. And by the way, again, again, crazy, like, if you're surrounded, if the hundred people that you interact with every day of your life all believe another thing, I don't know, like, let's say a certain deity or a certain pantheon of deities or any number of things, it doesn't make you crazy to not, uh, uh, I'm talking about a particular deity. I I was actually talking about, like, the Heaven's Gate cult, Bonnie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you giving me like no, the heavens- he, uh, he was he was referring to '70s soul singer D and T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm saying uh, uh, it doesn't make you crazy that you're eating a diet of uh, of mal uh, malinformed ignorance. You know, it, it's it's there's a difference between crazy and misinformed. He's just woefully woefully misinformed. So here's here's what happened. B.O.B. goes on a bit of a, a, a tweet storm yesterday wherein he uh, explains, uh, hey, if the world is round, why are these pictures the way they are? And by Look, the way, it, he's just asking questions, Justin. He is just asking, just asking questions. Uh, so he uh, he says he's, he's just up there and he's like, hey, look, if I'm on this mountain and this city is so many miles away and the curvature of the earth is such that it is certainly going in this direction how is that possible so here we go cities in the background are approximately 16 miles apart where's the curve please explain this just ask you a question justin uh so then uh uh you know consummate school marm neil degrasse tyson uh, uh elected himself to be sheriff of science and says uh and, and just corrects him with the the facts on on why the Earth's curvature uh, relates to the the physical uh, scenes that he is uh, he's certainly talking about, um, and okay. that would just kind of be crazy person or not crazy person, or, or but, just just you know uh, I don't know Bob doing Bob things, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson doing Neil deGrasse Tyson things. What elevates it is something. That is so 2016, you need to say it twice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so B.O.B. drops a, a track. A flat earth supporting diss track against, against Neil deGrasse Tyson. Here it is. Flatline. All right. We are loading. Okay. Yeah, you ain't seen my best. Checkmate in a game of chess. Globalist, see me as a threat. 
Free thinking, got the world at my neck, huh? And my paranoid picture, Michael Max in a room full of pigs, trying not to bust a sweat. Ayy, Neil Tyson need to loosen up his vest. They probably write that man one hell of a check. Ayy, I'm over here on this side of town. Come on over, 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 over here, try to clown. Ayy, I never pipe down. If they weren't coming for me, then they definitely coming for me now. I can't even keep my phone charged up All the shit I'm talking, I should get my own barred up Rappers, get off of my dick and get your own bars up Vladimir and Liz's breath got the clone skirt Cause whoop, use your, use, use your common sense Why is NASA part department of defense? They divided up the seas into 33 degrees Feeding kids masonry, bro, be careful what you read Flatline, flatline Pause it no here superior blood. So just, just to keep track of where we are with this VOB has pointed out that uh, there's a globalist conspiracy for which uh, is now after him. Well, and, and by, by the way, by globalist, he means people who believe in globes. Uh, he, the uh, the globe uh, selling I mean, industry is what he's saying. <laughs> sure, sure. There's also other elements for which he will get to, which, uh, you know, the, the uh, he is also a believer in uh, there's a globalist government, right, that, that uh, controls us. Uh, and... More specifically, and more interestingly, the clone theory. Brian, are you familiar with the clone conspiracy? Which one? The, the idea that the globalist ruling government puts out celebrities to uh, entertain us and distract us while they do their dirt. Uh, and those celebrities could not be trusted to just be regular humans. They are cloned. And whenever a celebrity gets in a car accident or has a, a, a facial surgery, we always make fun of celebrities for having so much facial surgery, right? That's not really facial surgery. That's them rolling out a new clone that has, has yet to fully form. I mean, that certainly seems more realistic than the idea that vain children who are given the power and money of you know, gods in the 21st century would waste it on having their faces mangled so that they could feel like they're three to five years younger than they actually are. Totally agree. Let's go back to B.O.B. Flatline, flatline, flatline. You got me once, but that died. Hey, voice, voice. Do I have a voice? Do I give a fuck? Do I have a choice? Joint, joint. I roll up a joint. Keep my shooters in the game like I hate to disappoint. I see only good things on the horizon. That's probably why the horizon is always rising. Indoctrinated in a cult called science. And graduated to a club full of liars. Heliocentrism, you were the sixth victim. Fuck you and your team, you can sit on the bench with them. They nervous. But before you try to curve it, do your research on David Irving. Stalin was way worse than Hitler. That's why the POTUS gotta wear a kipper. I'm a man first for an artist. Did a lawyer look up Dr. Richard Sarda? Fans. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Re real, real quick. <clears throat> I want to grade on a curve. A curve? Oh, like curve? A, so to speak. A horizon curve? In the great pantheon of arguments ever made for flat earthism. Yeah. I this is the best. <laughs> I, I mean that sincerely. Yes. It, it, it is the most emotionally appealing. It is the one that challenges the listener to do the research. Uh, it, it, it seems to take the moral high ground and run with it, which is an amazing thing for a flat earther to do. I mean, listen, I, I'm going to judge this on, 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 on diss tracks. Uh, 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 Neshcom, you are, you are musically literate, right? Sure. Like, like uh, as far as diss tracks go... This is really, this is like not terrible. This is the yeah. upper echelon of diss tracks. Yeah, no, it's, it's solid. It's way good. Well, I didn't I'm... even really, like it's got a solid beat. It's good. Number one, he, he credibly uses the term heliocentrism. <laughs> yeah, dude. And rides it with victim. Yeah, and challenges you to read what's his name Irving. I mean, it's just like, well, well shit, uh, I can't uh, dispute by, by that. The way, by the way, uh, Holocaust denier, uh, you know, so that's yeah, do your that research on David Irving is please research that the Holocaust didn't happen. Uh, dude, uh, yeah, look, man, are you against researching him? Is that, are you pro ignorance? Is that what this is? I got one question. What? Who is worse? At the, no, at the end of the song, does he bring it full circle? Oh, oh my goodness, Bonnie is on fire. Oh. You want to get a diss track levied against you by B.O.B.? Because this is how that happens. You keep going <laughs> yeah, dude, listen. As a matter of fact, he starts bringing in his nemesis, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Here we go. From that center, 
And it turns out sea level at the equator is farther away from, farther away from, Receipts! and sea level. Receipts! B-O-B! Oh. Heliocentrism on the run! Me, 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 me. Because <laughs> Earth, we know it spins. Does does it have to Once, be Neil deGrasse Tyson's our hero in this? Okay, can we? Yes. Uh, Three people know the, how long a day last year. Can, can Andrew Maine be our hero? Listen, man, Neil D's got himself in the crossfire. He's got to drop another. He's got to. He's got to come back on his own diss track. You know, it's, it's gonna... truly, it's truly a, a bold and and powerful maneuver for uh, the world's most beloved scientist to use his uh, platform to finally challenge. The uh, the outrageous claims of a rapper from Atlanta. Man, I'm just gonna say uh, Sagan would have would have uploaded a diss track. Uh, oh wait, you mean like this? <laughs> oh, Flat Earth is a problem only when people in charge think that way. No law stops <laughs> you from regressively basking in it. He learned the game from Carl Sagan. You can never check him. You say the earth is flat and Sagan's name in the first three words. <laughs> or five, uh, I don't know, three, three lines, whatever. Whoa. Very important that I clear this up. You say that Neil's vest is what he needs to loosen up. What? And he's amazing because the brothers get paid when the ignorance you're spitting helps to keep people enslaved. All right, pause, 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 pause. This is the part that breaks my heart. I mean, listen, B.O.P. is really so way better than this Tyson character. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, this is uh, this is some random person rapping on behalf of Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, who's uh, also, I believe, called Tyson. Yeah. Uh, oh, his name is Tyson? Steve Tyson from Steve Philly. Steve Tyson of Philadelphia. Who oh, boy. I mean, he's like, night. oh, uh, the flat to fact, which is, I mean, listen, like, when you were that, well, because Drake released a very famous diss track called Back to Back. <laughs> so he is flat to flat fact. To fact. I like that. It's very yeah. clever. Um, uh, mm. If if we're it's... basing our science on the science of these rhymes, I love Spike of the Chicken Tyson's. <laughs> <laughs> we I only mean, gave this thirty seconds. Maybe we want to give it a little. Right, bit. You know, keep going. Keep going. Maybe it gets... uh, I just I, I I support. I'm on his side. I almost don't want no, to play. No, you know what? Ball. Then you better eat your entire meal if yeah, this is your pick. Point. Fair point. Don't make me go insane. I've already stepped out of the fast lane. You the donkey of the day. I ain't waiting for Charlemagne. <laughs> and all them strange clouds must be messing with your brain. I ain't waiting for days, Bob. I'm right here. I got science in my corner and there's nothing to fear. I'm not sure what it was that really made you think that you could disrespect the Tyson and your ship won't sink. I mean, whoa. Can't fool the people, Bob. They know what's up. I'm in the Hayden planet and getting shoulder rubs. He's got a very hey. 90s, like, enunciated rap going. I mean, like, let's be fair. The only reason why we're playing this is because he caped up for Neil deGrasse Tyson. Did, did, did Neil deGrasse Tyson tweet this, or? Uh, I don't know. I just saw it throw uh, show up on my feed. Um, here's the thing, is that it leaves me, yeah, it just feels That's like, kind of it feels like this is being played, you know, before a Rand Paul rally or something. You know, I mean, it feels like that, that. Uh... It does. It feels like, it feels like it's, it, 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 it's the rapper that uh, uh, raps about your favorite sports team when yes. they're going on a deep playoff run where it's like, exactly. Carolina Panthers are about to get played. <laughs> oh man, is that Fred? Uh, Fred, what's his name? Fred? Oh, oh Fred Schneider. Fred Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to get played. <laughs> and you're sitting on the globe and you don't see a curve. You got 16 miles to the edge of the earth. <laughs> I'm a flat earther baby. <laughs> flat earth baby. <laughs> flat earth. It's a flat earth. Oh. oh my god! When the globalists are coming to the top of the shelves and they're saying you're gonna be a clone today! Ah, uh, holy shit! You're welcome, Stephen Coglo. <laughs> yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. On that note, I'm gonna have sweet, sweet dreams. All right, let, let's play Bonnie's traditional exit music, uh, right. "Flat to Fact," our new theme song. Mm -hmm. I'm a high flyer, but you must be cloud walking. And I know Bobby Ray's a great musician with intelligence to say some better shit than oh, what you're Oh, it's his nephew! Yeah, guitar <gasps> strings turned to Twitter things. Ooh. Yeah, you really, really his nephew? I'm far from famous, but I got an education. And I'm putting it to use to make a better nation. I'm making sure you get it when it's said and done. <laughs> 
Is it? I oh, yes, according to Twitter, I, uh, if you if you Neil deGrasse Neil Tyson's decides. rapper nephew has issued a response to to Bob. Aww, that's so sweet. Why are you yielding the high ground, Neil? What's uh, what did I uh, uh, get ready for a tripling in the popularity of flat earthism thanks to this? This uh. Oh. Because no, no, no! I'm serious. Like, like people decide their scientific beliefs based on who they think on is Madden less of an asshole, reps. you know. And it's like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But he's not being an asshole. He's like, he's being nice to. His he nephew. is engaging and in engaging in in what some will perceive as petty rhetoric, um, because it is, mm. uh, and uh, and and. Uh, that is unfortunate because it's going to lead some people away from science because okay. instead of taking the high can ground. I, can we just take this to, back to like yeah. 80s, 90s culture and like, okay, one of these guys does a drive-by shooting of sorts, you know, like, Why what does that look air like? quotes around shooting? Because it's not like they're science dudes. So what are they actually okay, doing Bob, in a drive-by? Not, is not a science dude. I mean, oh, literally. Well, the first okay. Time no, but they're like on using... pop culture radar. He was wondering whether or not airplanes were shooting stars. There have been plenty of warning <laughs> signs coming into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like, so then he didn't have to use his AK today. What is, what is he using? Like, if they're dropping. Oh, like, today was words. a good day. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. have to use uh, Occam's razor anyway. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. what I was just asking for. <laughs> it's not a flat day. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's unfortunate. Well, that, but the better one was the. Uh, no, was, yeah, no, I'm sorry, but yeah. the, of the two diss tracks, fucking B.O.B. slayed it, and instead, and instead <laughs> of saying <laughs> that's, that's an arena. Scott's W. What's Scott is one says, Jury to be fair, he said, Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky mm -hmm. take that to the cloning centers? W. Scott is one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And how are you supposed to get that many hugs from the fireflies? It doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't add up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was actually, I mean, like, B.O.B. Is, is one of those guys that really, like, blew up that I was like, man, you know, like, I, I think he could actually have a career. It just kind of, it, it, I was really kind of, like, sad that he just went. By the way, it makes you realize if Twitter existed when Brian Wilson, like, went crazy, oh, we geez. wouldn't even know about the Beach Boys. Beach Boys would have just been something that would just been folded off into history. Like, that dude was able to go crazy privately in a Malibu beach house. Yep. And he didn't have Twitter or Periscope to just start yelling and screaming. Ooh, boy. Man, how about that traffic, though? Is there, is there anybody else that if Twitter and, and social media existed, it just, like, they would have never been able to come back? Uh, uh Hitler. <laughs> okay, it would have been worse. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, he might have self-destructed a little bit earlier. Uh, I feel like a little bit of a. Uh... I I don't know though. We live in an age where freaking Donald Trump. Is, okay, wait. Uh... J. C. Calhoun says that he just released an EP a couple weeks ago. I'm sure that has nothing to do with this. Uh, if you think that this is viral marketing for his EP, I, I highly disagree with you. I don't think there's a publicist in America that's like, yeah, no, 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 go with that flat Earth thing. Like, like that's great. People love it. But if he, if he, I mean, I believe he believes it. Oh, I, I, I have no, so, nobody puts that on his Twitter unless they believe that the earth is flat. Right. But you, you, you spin it, right? Like, that's what you would do if you were like, like an, a pretty bad, but not absolutely horrible PR guy. Yeah. You're like, well, it's real. Oh, by the way. Uh, you gotta, you gotta assume Kanye's pissed about this, because right now Kanye's out on Twitter talking about his yet to be released album is gonna be the best of all time. It's not gonna be the best album of the year. It's the best album of life. Direct quote from Kanye West, and he's not nearly the closest to be the craziest rapper on Twitter. Well, and like, plus also, how easy is it for Bob uh, to just do a flip and be all like, "Oh, y'all fell for that, whatevs." You know, I'm glad you like my new album. Uh, the Earth is round. Get over it, suckers. Yeah, I know. When, uh, like, when when the cloning center gets to him. <laughs> <laughs> but meanwhile, but dude, that's fine because the clones will have the dopest meats at that point. 
Yeah, Kanye's out here going, he's trying to be like, hey, look, remember, this is my dance. I'm an egomaniac. I'm crazy. All my music's the best music. And everyone's like, yawn. When are you going to say that the earth's hollow, dick? <laughs> exactly. I mean, this is a guy who named his child uh, Christ? Christ? Saint. Saint, Saint. West. Saint. Yeah. His child's name's Saint. Saint West. Northwest I, and Saint West. I was 80% sure Christ was wrong, but I knew I was close. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, uh, great show. Before before we forget, we want to do a little bit of show titles. Oh, there was something. Uh, Seattle traffic. There was one I like. Oh, I, <laughs> See, I, 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 I liked I, the I, Cathedral of Drunk. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, I, I'm 50-50 I'm on Cathedral of Drunk or, or Seattle traffic. Seattle traffic is is the punchline though, which makes me hesitant. But by the time that we get to it, mm. yeah, like I, I I don't I don't mind. It's so buried that like, at, at, like it comes with this gigantic explosion about two thirds through. No, yeah, I'm I'm good with uh, I'm good with Seattle traffic. Okay, hit that button. Then I think that's going to be the one that people will will remember if they're like looking for the episode in the future. Like they'll remember Seattle traffic. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, you guys mentioned it on the show, but uh, Pack South is coming up. Uh, I know myself is going to be there. Hot Beverage is going to be there. Curly, April. Sounds like Bacon Donut is going to be there. Uh, a lot of the Austin folks are going to be there for a little while. So, um, Ooh, Anthony Carboni is going to be there. That's right. Uh, uh, F. Canada. Mm -hmm. They're going to do uh, We Have Concerns and DL DLC. Uh, we're meeting up on Saturday at 4 p.m. I think it's at a gelato place. Rio de Gelato, which is an amazing title, name, whatever. Uh, come check it out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, get your ass to San Antonio, and hopefully um, our, our tour of the Alamo is out. Yeah, man. Oh, just in time. Just in time, I hope. Question mark. Um, I mean, I don't know where it would be, because we're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I just realized after the words came out of my mouth, but <laughs> theoretically, we did a tour for the Alamo mm -hmm. at some point. I mean, hmm. well, I mean, you know, if they don't like the words, come and take them. I From, mean, if you can remember where they are, yeah. we left That's them someplace. Earth. You'll never guessed. You'll never guessed. Guessed. You'll never guessed. I on our show. Talk, you should be talking about the Good Earth, the Amy Tan novel. The Gooder? The Good Earth. Oh, the not Good Earth. Flat Earth. Got it. Good Earth. Not not the actual Earth. The piece of shit. It was my friend Amy Tan. I'm R.L. Stein. The Good Earth was written by Pearl S. Buck. Pearl S. Buck, I'm racist. I'm R.L. <laughs> Stein, and I don't know my Asian. <laughs> right on. <laughs> it would be a little early for Amy Tan, R.L. That's a little fucked up. Uh, what's up, man? You ready to wrap it up? Uh, what do you, what do you, what are you feeling? Yeah, dude. No, I, I feel like we, uh, we flew so close to the sun. I'm afraid of ruining it from this point forward. It was, it was pretty great. It, uh, that was a really good compliment bomb. And I was really nervous about how it was going to go. And I'm glad, I mean, it couldn't have gone better, right? All right. Well, here, Lisa J points it out. Do you have the Captain Morgan commercial in you or do we want to save it? I mean, I to be honest, I'm I'm not feeling a lot of Irish in me over this. I mean, you you, you, you go go ahead and play it. Yeah, come at me, Irish. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> uh, before before just a little pop. I'm gonna. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Auntie Donna just tweeted John Stossel. Just right now? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Are they watching? No, uh, this says this was seven hours ago. This afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> send them Stossel gifts. How many Stossel gifts can we get to the Auntie Donna boy? <laughs> oh my God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond that I love him. Uh, but yeah, here's um, here's here's the the Stossy, Stossy. Here's the uh, go full captain commercial. Ah, uh, Pause, 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 pause. So at this point, they've, there's sub subtitles. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so it, it's to the song Freak Out, but right. it's in a language that we don't know. Do we know what language that is? I, I, I don't know, but more importantly, it looks like, you know, they're doing the, the karaoke thing as if these are the lyrics to the song and they're translating here, which I didn't understand until watching two thirds of this goddamn thing. But but they are to, yeah, because they're to the beat, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, kind of. I'm not even a real captain. I got this face from a vending machine, and it's people going crazy on a on a big pirate ship. And while the, the, the mermaid at the end of the boat, who has a wooden face, is, is going crazy. Is he going to fuck the ship? Is no. that what this is leading I up mean, to? They're just well, gonna he's have saying, a great he's saying slide down ropes, I'm messing with you, why do you gotta be so serious? And more and more people have captain faces. I, 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 is it supposed to be gibberish? Because they're changing the subtitle. I, I, well, yeah. I mean that's the problem, right? Is that we're left with just nothing but noise, and noise can be good oh, dude, if this the is, point of it this is, is the, this is the Old Spice uh, ad agency, right? Or at least an ad agency that's that's looking to do the Old Spicy kind of ad. Right? Sure, but that had a very clear narrative. That was a man who was everything. He was the man your man should smell like, or and 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 that's a very clear thing. I don't know what this is at all. No, no, no. no. I, I mean more like like the Terry Crews ones or the like Old Spice made a man of my son but kind those, of thing. But the, the, the old, the, those, the Terry Crews era was done was directed by Tim and Eric uh, from uh, uh, Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Great, great job. And they that the point of that was fine because it was absurdism. Uh, turned up to eleven. This is well, this no, is here, mild. Go, go, go look at uh, this, uh, Old Spice made a man of my son. Like that, they we, were a similar kind of weird, super bizarre. Like, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, this is not the real. Wait, they don't have the fucking ad uploaded clean on the goddamn internet? Uh, let me see. Here we go. That's my cap. Oh, I didn't see it coming. But it came in a can Now my sweet son's braid into a man Mine too and hey we See, this is also very, very clear When our sons have fun with women and misbehave Kissing all the women at his chores aren't done. He was just my little sweetie, tiny fingers, hands and feeties. Now he's touching, kissing, feeling all the women because all oh, spice. Yeah, this is a million times better. Now he smells like a man, and they treat him like one. Yeah, who knows if they're the same company that 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 did it? Uh, but it is. Of, of that ilk, even if it's a poor copy of it. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just like this bizarre David Lynchy, like, you know. But but again, it's it's more than that. It it taps into a universal feeling of you know, uh, kids want to be adults and moms don't want to let go of their kids. That's something everyone can relate to. That's why it's great. Uh, same thing with the man your man should smell like. It's like, uh, you know, women fantasize about, you know, what else might be out there, the perfect man, and, and this is, you know, Mustafa uh, uh, representing that thing. I, I, what the fuck What the fuck does this Captain Morgan thing tie into? Uh, you're having a great time on a pirate ship. But, and uh, other people who don't speak English sound funny. Yes. Is that, is that a universal vibe that really makes you want to drink their product? I mean, I don't know. Listen, man, I've been trying to audition mm. for this Captain Morgan uh, ad role for years, and, and to no avail. It's a good like, point. Apparently, they don't, they don't want uh, the real good, so they got to go with this horse shit. Shh. That's a problem. That's a real thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess because it was pitched to us as creepy, 
right? And I don't think it's it's even really creepy, right? Uh, certainly no creepier than the Burger King ad. Yeah, which was like wake up with the king uh, with like a big creepy Burger King. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the guy was pure joy. That guy. Well, yeah, also, smile. Like the only like visually creepy thing is like this animatronic or CG mermaid. Yeah, which but I, that's the only thing. The rest well, is just no. Distracting. That's just makeup, right? Like that's just a lady in. No, in, it's it's bad makeup? CG. If you look at it, it's yeah. The movement, the movement looks too cartoonish. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no way to do that wink as a human being and stuff. Yeah, you don't think like like a, I'm a human statue thing. No. Uh well, I mean, well, I mean, take a look at it. It's uh, it's awfully precise in the movements. Uh, yeah, y yeah, it's not. Uh... People are saying CGI claymation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, either way, that's the most interesting part of this ad. Anyway, Captain yeah. Morgan Rum. Uh, it's great. One time, Brian and I got really drunk on it, and then I yelled at him in ca the Captain Morgan voice, and that's pretty much the only reason why this has been brought up on is, this show. Is, is this us, like, uh, distancing ourselves politically from Captain Morgan? Be like, hey, man, there were some wild times, and we used to do Captain Morgan, but that's in the past, and we'd appreciate it if you didn't affiliate it us with us anymore. It's everybody. Oh, my God. So look, at, look at Auntie Donna's. now... Gotten a lot oh, of... so good. These are all the at replies. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> Stussy. Stussy. <laughs> uh, we've got a link here. Oh, my God. Give me a break. Oh, that's I... great. Stussy. Stussy. Did everyone ever supposing the same give me a break give segment? Give me a break. A Stusselman bomb. Man, we did so well with the compliment bomb. We got a Stusselman bomb in. The cluster oh, bomb tonight. We so great. It. Dude, oh, man. I think we killed it. We laid it dead, and we cooked it, and we ate it, and we shat it out, and we buried our shit in the desert. I think we uh, we've done just about there all there is to do on this one. Uh, dude, uh, I think that uh, everyone should go to Reddit.com/r/hchthbd, uh, the only Reddit uh, sub, the only subreddit dedicated to how could this have been done. Is this a? Does this guy know that this is a thing? Uh, well, I don't know. How I assume California be, Carl be set it up. I, I know, but look at how, how full it is, how populated it is. Four days ago, seven days ago. This one's from t yesterday. Only two weeks ago. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. So good. Uh, all right. So if you're a Diamond Club, you're going to be at Pack South. Meet up with all the Diamond Club folks. Uh, next week, not live, recorded. It's between the sheets. It will post on Tuesday. Uh, in fact, we'll, we'll it'll uh, unspool. Are we are we are we gonna do this not live, right? I think that was the plan. Yeah, no, it's just you. Yeah, and me. so it, it'll unspool fresh for everybody on Tuesday. Yeah, nobody will know. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, follow Contender Game, the Contender uh, Game on Facebook, and uh, yeah, love you guys. Yeah, in Iowa, holler at me in Iowa. Iowa.